on behalf of the quarter I represent in Obaneme Autonomous Community, it is with due respect I ask this question. Have you lost your mind? Ichi is saying, I'm sorry for saying this. I do not think you phrase it. You are sentenced quite correctly. Omi no Kurobia. On behalf of the administrative quarter I represent, I want to put it to you right now. You have gone mad. Exactly. Exactly. If I live here and tell the administrative quarter I represent what you just said, they will conclude that their crown prince is a man bereft of leadership acumen. Is that who you are? First and foremost, the chair. I am not your crown prince. And if this meeting must continue, then men seated here who command respect in Obanima must speak the truth and say things the way they are. Shut up, you demented son of Obanima. Oh, you think you can disgrace us? You think you can bring shame on Obanima people? If I slap you. Now, take this and do what you have to do. Today, I'm not going to do anything with that stuff you're holding and I advise that you take that thing out of my compound. Huh? Are you mad? Uh, Ndichie, with all due respect, I'll ask you all to respect the facts that you're in my house and watch your language. I have not called all of you here to fight you. I've called all of you here to reason with me. We cannot reason with you. Because you have not made any sense at all. I have just made an emphatic statement. So to say that I have not made sense is quite laughable. And you all know that. Let me break it down. The laughable one is the one who suddenly renounces his position as the designated king of a community. Just when his coronation is near the corner. That is what you have done. And to me, that makes you a fool. To you, I'm a fool. But posterity and time to show you that I'm not a fool. Why the sudden change of heart? A few days ago, I was here in your house. What are you going to be doing with 50 cows? Why are you surprised? <laughs> Uh, why are you surprised? What, is it too much? Oh, man, Columbia, this is just um, coronation, not fi festival, not a fala festival. Huh? What are you going to be with 50 cows? Are you going to give it to people as souvenir or what? Uh, well, I, I agree with you. It's not your fala, but it's it's also the uh, coronation of a king. I get many of them. I get many of uh, 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 them. Listen, listen, my son. <laughs> Uh, listen, my son. Uh, you, you, you have to cut it down. Uh, 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 to uh, say. Uh, you cut it down to 10 cows. 10, ten. cows would be enough. 10. Yes. Okay. Uh -huh. 10. Oh, yes. <laughs> then you can now add goats for those of them that do not eat cow meat. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Chicken. For those of them that do not eat either of them. Exactly. You uh -huh. speak my mind, Ichi, yes. and that's why I've. Um, made arrangements uh, for two trucks of old layers. Ah, yeah. Two trucks? Yes, so that they can go around. Are, are you mad? <laughs> you what are you? <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, listen, my son. Yes. Uh, to what I'm going to tell you now. You will not make any further arrangement uh, or spend any money uh, until you run it by me okay. or by any of the elders. No problem. Uh, I, is that clear? Very clear. Uh -huh. <laughs> hey, you will not just go bankrupt because you want to uh, become a king. Uh, oh, oh, it doesn't make sense to me or to any right thinking person. Uh, I won't go bankrupt. I'm just trying to make sure that uh, it looks good at the end of the day. Uh, but with what I just recommended, it will look better. No problem. <laughs> <laughs> You were not only happy to become a king, you were going out of your way to make the day of coronation very memorable. So what exactly happened? 
I changed my mind? Or do I not have the rights to change my mind? Why didn't I think of it? This is as a result of my last visit here, right? You're not throwing this tantrum as a result of our argument. I'm trying hard to understand what you mean by a golden crown. The gold actually will be at the, at the top of the crown. Uh, here, let me explain. Now, it's a golden crown, quite all right. But, um, look, we're going to have copper at the base. Uh, and then, you know, finishing torches would be sprinkles of diamonds just around it. You, you'd love it. Beautiful concept. Hold the limit. Yes. I'd like you to stop there. This golden crown you speak of, mm -hmm. how much is it going to cost you? Oh, well, um, given the fact that it's uh, a mixture of pure gold, copper, and diamonds, a little over 15 million. What? Uh, cheap, eh? <laughs> this boy has lost his mind. You know, Ichi, I was having a conversation with myself. I told myself, I'm in Colombia. Why don't you go for something you know, a little more expensive? But, oh, uh, shut up. You know, I mean, How can you be thinking of spending such an atrocious amount of money uh, over something you are just going to be wearing on your head occasionally? When there are people in this kingdom, people actually live next door to you who are in need of money. People that cannot eat three square meals a day or afford their school fees. We have jobless youths in this community that we can spend that money on. than spending 15 million naira just on a crown. Hold on, hold on, slow down, Pichie, slow down. Look, you, you, need to, you need to expand your mind, okay? Look at the bigger picture here. This golden crown is actually an investment. It's beyond just a crown. Invest in your people. Invest in your people so that the gods of this land will enrich you more. There are many young women in this our kingdom that are doing nothing. Only waiting for a man to come and marry them. They need to be educated. Pay their school fees. Or oh, haven't you heard the saying that he who educates a woman educates the entire nation? Mm. So you're saying all of this to me because I have chosen to wear a golden crown. What are you trying to prove with a golden crown on your head? Are you God? I'm Iche. I see that you're determined to insult me today. But I'm not having it. Don't dare walk out on me, you small boy. I was paid your school fees on behalf of your father. Look at him. Is it that I turned down your request to assume position as a god over our people? Now made you to decline from even becoming the king? I sincerely doubt. If that is the case, why did you say that? Why are you saying all this? What is happening? Uh, what is happening is that I am about to be crowned king. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't change anything. Ah, <laughs> so you will say until the people of Obanema begins to call me a barren king. Nobody would ever call you that. Thank God you have a wife and you still recognize her as your wife. Of course. Um, that fact um, cannot be disputed. Yes, I have a wife and Kenichiko is still very much my wife. Let, let me guess. Did you impregnate any other woman? <laughs> is that what you're saying? This? Come on, it's you. No, Papa, please. <laughs> Hold on to your imaginations. Hold it. Eh? So it does not run wild. <laughs> Please stop. Please stop. I don't know. Well, uh, it's here. <laughs> I was just wondering because of what you're saying. I don't know. <laughs> what do you take me for? Uh, well, for the records, I have not um, got another woman outside pregnant, just like you jokingly suggested. Uh, but I'm worried that my wife has not been able to conceive. And I'm about to be crowned king. That shouldn't bother you. We're in a new millennium. 
even if your wife cannot conceive naturally, there are so many scientific means you can achieve the same thing. You don't need to bring any other woman into your home for that reason. No. Unless you are having a serious issue with the woman you are currently living with, which I may not know. Or is there any other thing you, you are not telling me? Well, believe me, men in council, that uh, it has completely nothing to do with, with what you have suggested. No, not at all. If your decision has nothing to do with what we are thinking, then you owe us a detailed explanation. Exactly. Exactly. You are with the political heads of Obanami Kingdom. Anything that will make our common king change his mind from royalty is something that we must know. I agree with you completely, Chiamona Puapo. You are right. But I'll ask that you all please permit me to talk about this when I decide. However, I am not going to be available for the planned coronation. Let that be known. But like I said, I will talk about this when I am moved in my spirit to do so. Is it that you have been possessed by an evil spirit? I mean a spirit so powerful that it has not ordered you to take a decision and then keep all of us in the dark. You don't need him to answer that. We all know the answer. He is possessed by a powerful spirit. And we must rise like men and counsel and deal with that spirit. Uh, Ichiogonawa, save yourself in the battle. For I have not been possessed by any spirit. As a matter of fact, I'm sound. Oh yes, sound as in sound. I know that I have taken a decision that would not go well with the man in cancer. But, like I have promised, I'll talk about it when the time is right. Bastards! You got these sons of bitches! They've all, they've all gone to betray me. Me! They are king! Forgetting that I exist. And you, standing there, watching me, and you're saying anything. You support them, don't you? You're a bitch! What? You know that, right? Ikena, please. Let's go of that drink and stop the act of killing yourself slowly. This isn't right, please. Why? Huh? Why should I stop? Give me one good reason why I should stop. In four days, four days, the people of Obaneme are going to crown a king. A king that is not me. All because all because of my father. All because you chose another man. A total stranger that is not even your own son. Someone who does not even share any kind of DNA with you. As your successor. You are a bastard. A bloody bastard. Please. It's okay. You. You did this to screw me over. Even in death, you still managed to frustrate my life. Oh, I will so have this. I will defecate on your grave. You hear me? Because that's what you deserve. That's what you get for betraying your own son. Ikeno, please. That's enough. Father hasn't done anything wrong to either of us. Let me have that joy. Please. Hey. Odera. If you love your life, let go of this bottle. Hey. And don't come any close to me. Because a man that's about to lose power will do anything to retain it. 
even if it means killing his own sisters! Bitch! I am a very principled person. I am a man of truth. And I don't have time for nonsense. I was never in good terms with uh, Professor Medinobi when he was alive. So I need you to go back. Go back and tell all years and no more about that I'm not going to do what he is asking me to do. Uh, <coughs> Chief. Omito. That is the name. That, that is the title given to me by Ezoba himself. And uh, that is the name I want you to call me. I am sorry, Omito. The only thing that my king wants from your people is nothing but peace. That is why he gave you a letter to deliver to Meno Colombia, the next king of uh, The only king I recognize around here is the same king we are both talking about. Ezoba of Umoba. Listen, Obaname is just, it's just a village. Is just forget about all this autonomous rubbish. I do not recognize this Obaname as a kingdom. And uh, I need you to understand this. Go back and tell Onyeze, Ezoba of Umoba, exactly what I said. Can you at least allow me to make my points? Well, um, Ishemamana. You have no point. You are doing everything possible to justify the creation. And I am telling you that there is no need for the autonomous community to be created in the first place. Professor Medinobi, who you remember was professor of political science, tried everything to convince me all through his reign and failed. If he failed as a political scientist, what makes you think you will be the one that will convince me? I know why he's giving this way. I know. You do? Yes. And why have you kept us in suspense all this while? I wanted to be sure. But having analyzed everything critically, I believe this is the best time to speak out. You have never managed to make any sense. But I'm going to listen to you. It's your come, mother. Come in, Columbia. I have a problem. The problem is that I love my people. And so I'm trying to please everyone. And make everyone happy. But I am challenged. How do I make everyone happy? The truth is, you cannot please everybody. Even Chokikabiam, in all his divine majesty, has not pleased everyone. Do your best and leave the rest. You are a grown man. You know the difference between the good and evil. Okay? Get this in mind. Christianity is Christianity, and tradition is tradition. And what is the correlation of that to the issue under discussion? Maintaining the tradition of our forefathers has nothing to do with disrespecting God. Tradition becomes a sin against God where there is crime involved. Yes. Hmm. Mm -hmm. So are you telling me that there will be no human sacrifice? and all other clandestine practices associated with royalty. There are no such thing. We are required to sit on ancestors too of your forefathers as a king and maintain the ancient tradition that brings goodwill to your people. That's all. Oh, come, Madu, you know that I am a Christian. A baptized Roman Catholic. Are you saying that it would be right for me to kneel before the priest of a local deity 
so that he can place a crown on my head and pronounce me king. You see, if you are Catholic priests, she will come on that day for your coronation and insists that he must be the one that will place the crown on your head. Where there is someone clearly mandated by tradition to do so. Such a person is not fit to be called a priest. So you are giving up or you are God giving rights simply because your church people will not approve of it. Are you such a coward? And you are planning to be our king. How can you reduce Obanema Autonomous Community to such level of radical? I feel we are jumping the gun. I she never said anything. Is this the reason for this? I repeat, men in council, that my decision has nothing to do with what you all think. Why did you denounce your kingship position? Just four days, four days to your coronation. I don't get it. Why? No, I need to understand. Men in council, you all need to tell me, why is it so hard for you all, especially you, to understand and accept that I don't want to talk about it now? Why? I'm not here to harm you. So why are you here? If you succeed in going through that door, I'll just reappear right in your face. Or have you forgotten I'm a ghost? I have not done anything to deserve this visit. Tomorrow, the elders of Obaneme community will come here bearing this. This is the wand of Amangolo. And by tradition and custom, it has to be with you for four days before your coronation. I want you to reject it. I do not want you to be king anymore. What? Why? It was your idea in the first place. You chose me as your successor. Why? Something has shifted in the spirit. And that is why I have to be here to fix things before they consume the land. I do not want you to be king anymore. Heed my warning, please. And when they ask you, tell them the truth. I do not want you to be king. I do not want you to be king anymore. Heed my warning. my warning, please. And one day ask you, and one day ask you, tell them the truth. Tell them the truth. I know that you are surprised to see me here, Ometo. But contrary to what you think. I have actually 